Hey guys, it's been a while. I've been really, you know, <laughs> not really focused on doing YouTube videos. I've been just busy with life and kids and homeschooling and you guys know what I mean, right? I do like to film these videos um, because I just enjoy sharing resources and things that I have been using in our homeschool to help you guys out. And I'm sure you guys have lots of ideas that you can comment down below to help, you know, others that are watching. So this is all about the transportation unit study with Gathered Round. So my son is an early reader, so keep that in mind. I'm going to be sharing some readers that you can use for your early readers. But then there's also some books that you might be able to use for your elementary age kids, you know, early or upper elementary age kids. So I'm going to show you some of the resources and books that we've gotten from the library and a few from our home library that have been really, really helpful. Let me share like the series of books books that he has grabbed every one of. Um, he was very excited about it. These are early readers. He is in first grade and he's still learning to read. He knows his phonics and everything like that, but he's still learning to read. So this is such a great series that I wanted to share on here. It's called Ways to Go Boats Go. And this is how simple it is. He loves the real photography and he will sit and read these books to me a couple a day while we do our unit study together. Now our unit study for Gather Round is different. You're supposed to do it as a family and have both the kids doing it, but for right now, what's happening is my daughter's doing a separate unit study and she's in third grade, she's learning about dogs. And I will talk about that all later. I think I'm gonna share with you guys our plans for April and May and give you guys like a lowdown of our quarter four, last quarter and let you guys know what we're up to and what we're gonna be doing. But basically she's learning about dogs um, and a couple more animals that she wants to focus on and my son wants to focus on transportation So I just wanted to give you guys a little quick look at a couple of these readers See if it's something that's good for your early reader Whether you're doing gather round or not if your kids are into transportation these things are good So even if you don't buy the curriculum I think some of these books would be awesome for like boys or girls that are into transportation. So um, trucks go and then cars go and bikes go. Another series that I wanted to share with you guys is called The Machines at Work. I'm sure all of your libraries have it. Street mixers, fire trucks, tow trucks, dump trucks, police cars, motorcycles, airplanes. I've read all of these to him. This is definitely something that he can help read with, but it's, it's something that I like to read to him. So a lot of the things are learning more about how things work. This one was really interesting, one with the concrete mixers, and then they have a glossary in the back, and they have book recommendations and the website. Okay. So fire trucks we have, tow trucks, dump trucks, cars, police cars, buses. I don't know if we have all of them, but whenever my son finds all the series in something, he's so excited. And airplanes. So this is sled dogs. We haven't gotten to this chapter yet, so I need to renew it again. Um, but this is one that I'm going to pull my daughter in with um, and do it together and read this to them. So this I'll read out loud probably to them during lunch. And since my daughter wants to learn about dogs, this is going to be something that they both want to listen to. And um, we'll be approaching this lesson soon. Now, the lessons, I am on the eighth lesson, I think. We're going through it slowly. So I read a few um, vehicles or a few things at a time. And um, we did all the grammar and calendar work and everything all those five weeks we've already done. So we're just working on like language arts, social studies, science, experiments, and reading through the rest of the lessons, which is awesome because then we can do it through the springtime. So this is Eyewitness Book Farm, and we love this one for, I think the second chapter of transportation um, talked about, you know, tractors and all the things that you use in a farm for transportation. And this one gave lots of good pictures and we just pretty much looked at it. We didn't read anything, but he looked at this. We just keep it on the coffee table. So this one was mentioned in her um, book recommendations. And we've been reading this book since like, you know, we've been going to Barnes and Nobles when they're little kids. So I finally purchased it on Amazon used and I'm glad I did because he looks at this like every single day. It talks about transportation on land, water, and air. I'm going to do a quick little flip through on this so you can see exactly what it's about. But there are so many photos of airplanes and trucks and boats and military, um, military boats, everything that you can think of things that they've used in ancient times, things in the Middle Ages. So what we do when we use the transportation unit study, whatever vehicle we're learning about, he has this in his lap. While he's looking at it, I'm reading the information to him so he can like, 
if I'm, for instance, if I'm looking at a, if I'm reading about a supercar, a Lamborghini, he'll look at this spread and he'll look at it and look at all the pictures. And then after I'm done reading, sometimes he'll want me to read more information on them and then we'll watch a video on YouTube. So that is how we do the unit study with this book, One Discovery is Trains. We've had this forever. I got it at a thrift store. Here are the contents and we've just, I've been reading this to him since he was like probably in preschool. So he loves this. He remembers lots of lots of these trains the di the diesel trains the electric trains i think that's what it is yeah diesel power trains i gotta brush up on my trains high speed electric trains bullet trains and then he got into the tunnel boring machines when we got this book and we were watching boring machines galore on youtube and it's very fascinating and i just love that books can open up a whole entire world of of different things and youtube is such a great resource two little stacks left this um, he got at the library, um, just out of like a grab bag, amazing facts about military vehicles. And this is awesome. We go through this book a lot when we were reading about military planes and, and ships and everything like that. And there's like tons of facts in here and he loves trying to read it too. So some of the things he'll try to read and we'll read these together. We're like halfway through it, but it is so fun. And some of the things that we don't know about, we will actually like look up online. So if you're looking for a military book that's really fun with amazing facts, um, this is definitely the book I think your kids would like. And Motor Bikes, The Need for Speed was a fun one. And there's just lots of information and facts about world super bikes and dirt bikes. And he's into all of the bike sort of things um, so there's just all different type of bikes that they talk about in here um, and then they also have high speed boats aircraft and racing cars this is called full throttle indie car and this is the edge book series and they also have um, choppers dirt bikes monster trucks sports cars dragsters and indie cars so it's called the full throttle series and then this one is called a rally cars by carrie brolic and I don't know what if it's called the Blazer series. Let me flip it over. All of the titles in the set are right here, so you can take a little screenshot. But this is cool. They have ATVs, Doom buggies, funny cars, jets. Like, oh my gosh, my kids, my son loves funny cars. Um, and reading level two. Some of these are definitely for, you know, elementary age kids as well. Not just early readers because I read these to him. Some of these he could probably read with some of my help. But that's what it looks like. This one he grabbed, Everyday Engineering Highways, and we read the other ones at the library. So there's a series of these, like all the engineering information. He likes to know like how and why and everything about things. So they have a glossary. There's more library books and on the web. And then this is the Everyday Engineering Level this is 2. Off-Road Vehicle Dirt Bikes, and this is a series so you can take a little screenshot. It's just called Off-Road Vehicles Series. So same with this. I read this to him during the daytime. If this goes along with a unit study or I'll read it to him at it's night. It's called Dirt and Destruction Sports Zone. And these are about monster trucks. So the history of monster trucks, monster truck mania, the drivers. These are crazy. He thinks that the wheels are amazing. I remember going to a monster truck show with my husband before we had kids. Seeing the kids there with like these huge headphones on, I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, the grave digger. I remember the grave digger. So this is also so, a series. I hope you guys like that. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for a while. I just did like one video this month and it's just hard to get into the routine of posting more videos, but I definitely am going to be doing a homeschool update for you guys. I promise that to you. And then I want to share with you guys our quarter four, our last quarter plans and what we're going to do. And I'm going to have curriculum videos coming up soon because I'm so into that. I'm very excited about the new school year. My daughter's going to be in fourth grade. My son's going to be in second. It's crazy. And it's very fun, but it's also stressful too to figure out what you need to do for your kids and what you want them to learn and what you and the studies I want to do. So I hope this is helpful, guys. Um, homeschooling can be overwhelming sometimes and I know I'm rambling but homeschool could be overwhelming sometimes and I just want to let you know that you know everybody's feeling the same way 
as you and you know sometimes you're in the trenches sometimes you know you're in a high top mountain top and everything's going well um but it's just a balance and everyone has different seasons in their life so i hope to encourage you guys today that you do you and enjoy your kids and play and have fun and read lots of books <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching my long-winded video and if you have not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. I like to show lots of books and resources and homeschool updates on my channel and lots of other things. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.